Hey guys, quick video I'm gonna do today showing you exactly what I use formula -wise, formula wise uh, for my hydroponic system I have here in my greenhouse. Um, I use Master Blend 41838 Calcium Nitrate 15500 Epsom Salt HydroGuard. Uh, that's what I used last year. It did pretty well on my tomatoes. Um, this is the system I use. I bought these little totes at Lowe's. Okay, they're 22 gallons is what I'm actually filling up. Whatever you use, it doesn't matter what you use, okay? Um, what matters is you know how many gallons that you're putting in. That's how you know what to mix, okay? This is my system. I have a trash can that eventually feeds a float valve that hooks to the grow tanks and consistently feeds. Okay, so I never add water to this. I always add water up here as the garbage can gets low and as these plants absorb the water. So here's how I do it. I've already done this one and had the nutrients in, so I showed y'all a plan in it. You're gonna fill this tote or whatever you're using till you get about an eighth inch into your netting cup, okay? Basically, I drilled a hole, three inch netting cup, got water in the bottom of the cup, okay? I just filled this one and added my nutrients to it, okay? I know because I've used these before, it's 22 gallons. Doesn't matter what gallon you use, you just have to know how many gallons of water is gonna be in your tote, okay? Here's my formula. For master blend and calcium nitrate, you're going to use 2.95 grams per gallon of water, okay? So for this tote here, it's a 22 gallon tote. Same of the one over here, it has the plant in it. 65 grams of master blend, 65 grams of calcium nitrate go into that 22 gallon tote, okay? The Epsom salt, 35 grams go into that 22 gallon tote. That measures at 1.59 grams per gallon of water, okay? So to review, if you're gonna look at it by gallon of water, it's 2.95 grams of master blend and calcium nitrate, 1.59 grams of Epsom salt. I use two milliliters per gallon of HydroGuard. So in this tote, I put about 44, I'm sorry, milliliters, not liters. In this tote, I put 20, um, 44 milliliters of HydroGuard, okay? Here's how my system works. And once you get your nutrients in, I use a EC meter, I bought this truncheon, um, does really well. You're looking for about 1.8 to two. Right now you can see it flashing. That's right where I am, 1.8 to 2, so I've got the right nutrients in. It's okay to be 2.0. It's actually okay probably to be 2.2 um, just to start the plant growth. But I shoot for 1.8 to 2 in my tank as it starts to feed them throughout the summer. So here's how my system works. <clears throat> okay, I've got these little lines here. And you see I've got them up high because if I drop them right now, this is what's going to happen. You're gonna to start to lose water, okay? So, how my system works up front is, I just have basically the tote by itself, okay? No water coming into it. Once these plants start to, the roots start to grow into the water and drop the water level, it's probably gonna to drop to about right here. When it gets to about right here, and I'll keep an eye on it, I have a little hole that I have a measuring stick. I know when to go ahead and hook up my float valve. Just bought this online. It's a little, no, I actually bought this, I think, at Tractor Supply. Screwed it to the bottom of this old, this little tote. I put it on top. I hook my water hose that's going into it right there. I open the valve, and I drop these lines and hook them into my float valve box. So basically, my system, once I get the water to the level I want it, the float valve keeps the water at the level I want it. And I only fill from the top. I never, ever, ever open the tote and add water, okay? You don't wanna drown your roots. That's what the float valve does. Keeps the water level constant here where your roots can keep an air pocket. So I just, when, as the water here drains throughout the summer, I'll just come in here with my gallon mixed formula. Usually I'll, I'll use like a five gallon bucket and add five gallons of 
master blend, five gallons of calcium nitrate, five gallons of Epsom salt. You know, and I just know my formula based on the 2.95 and the 1.59. So that's how my system works. Um, my tomatoes did really good last year. Um, you can convert the scram measurement to anything you want to. Uh, I used to use ounces. Um, you can convert it to teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever you want to use. You can convert it online through Google. Um, I just happen to use grams because I have a scale and that's the formula I use. And uh, so anyway, I hope this helps somebody and um, this actual um, do the same thing for my pepper plants also. Um, I use the same formula uh, for them. So anyway, hope, hope this helps somebody on their formulas.